This is the great life. Well, hello to you, my friend, your girl here, Kavion Thompson, Miss Naturalist, bring to you another video. As promised to provide, I wanted to not leave my IT subbies. You know, I've been away for a couple, a couple of weeks or probably months, sorry. But um, I wanted to answer some of these questions that it's been, these questions have been coming to me um, over the course of last week. I believe I had two messages and then I had one recently. And I figured since these questions are coming in, that means you have um, people who are out there who is really trying to get these information so they can make some type of decision. And so I wanted to just bring this out here to you and hope this information is going to give you some clarity so you can make some decision. Okay, so I'm going to just read one individual um, message and I felt like this covers everything that uh, these two other individuals sent me and I'm just going to notify them about this video so then, you know, this will be able to clear up some of the uh, the curiosity moving forward in this degree here or this um, career here. So the question was, I'm not going to read everything. Um, but basically they want to know that um, I'm about to switch the major to CIS computer information system and I'm getting nervous because I may not be able to find a job and I keep seeing a computer computer science major and computer in engineering get jobs over um, CIS majors so will it be hard to find a job um, so finding a job it will be challenging. It depends on the way and the route or learning how to position yourself. And what, what I mean by that, now if you're a student who decide you know, that you're gonna go into IT or computer information system, one thing you definitely wanna do, and I can't stress it enough, because this is how you learn to position yourself. Try to gain some internship experience somewhere. Now, you don't have to go out of the box meaning you don't have to leave the facility you can get these internships right under your nose meaning in the college now a college has a computer lab they have a, a server a server base somewhere um, you know if it's a community college or university they have IT department so you will be able to get an internship as long as you speak to the right people such as career source or work study Two out of them, they'll be able to answer your question in, in pertaining to finding some kind of part-time job. Now, you may be one person that's working a nine to five. Well, even if it's one day, try to put in some time. Remember, you're planning from now for the long-term benefit. You know what I mean? It's not just about now. It's about learning how to position yourself for the long term. So that being said, if you do decide to uh, take up computer information system, get some internships experience. This will definitely help you in the long run. So one, yes, you can get a job, but it may be a little bit tedious. And sometimes it's who you know. But I just gave you the key. In order for you to get a job quickly, it would be best to gain some kind of internship experience. And let me tell you something, you never know. Before you even leave that program or that training uh, internship, you never know, your employee may, based off your working performance, your employee may say, hey, we wanna keep you or we wanna hire you. Just make sure you put your best foot forward. You go out there and you perform your best. I always do that. I've been that way. I always give it my best. You know what I'm saying? So you can uh, implement the same thing. Okay, so computer science major and computer engineering, these are two upper level degree. These degrees speak volume. Not saying computer information system does not hold a belt, but these are more, um, computer science is more like, I'm not sure if they give associate degree in computer science. Could be, I'm not sure. But, you know, companies hire, uh, these kind of individual especially computer science and computer computer engineering because these are more detail oriented and practical work these are brain power work not saying computer information system is not but these are more detailed programming you know it's a lot of um 
these are in in demand however computer information system as well it's in demand but it's it's on a very broad scale you can do um, ticket support you can be a graphic designer you can be a uh, a networking um you can do cyber security you can do um many other tasks it's just a bit broad and you can create your own business from this tool because one thing with computer information system it consists of a combination of um, IT related information system and business scenario you know they teach you programming you know um, you learn how to build your website you know some business management you know the economy supply and demand you know where to go and start a business how to start it where are your target audience it has a little bit of marketing concept in there um, you learn some accounting fundamental with it you know how to manage your money and th it's like a combination of everything you know so you can't lose but you need to uh, finding yourself and knowing your weakness or your strength now if you're a person who is not good at math like for me me and math is no friend don't get me wrong I can count my money but me and math is no friend like I literally wanted to do computer um, computer science or computer engineering in the very beginning but when I looked at the whole structure fundamental of computer science and when I saw all those math let me not go through them I did a total 360 because me and math ain't no friend so I took what I could afford to do what my brain can manage with three kids trust me I had to take what I could manage and not have to kill myself so you want to be able to know you if you know you're someone who is good at math it, or programming then that's for you but for someone who I'm obsessed with business, I love management, I love to learn about um, business scenario topics, I love to do a little bit of programming too. So for me, I don't do too much of programming, but I can build a website, I know um, JavaScript, you know, I don't know much of C++, but Python, yes, you know. So I, I, I got the whole fundamental the concept and I know how to go out there and implement them however getting a job you won't know what you really like until you get your hands on a little of everything and that's why I you know I'm, I'm preaching it it's vital to go out there and try to gain some internship experience because this will help you to make some kind of decision and you'll probably say you know what I believe this is for me but this is not for me you know I don't like this but I like that thing of that nature so one yes you can find a job um, with an associate degree or bachelor's degree you can find a job with associate degree as well but most time they want at least a one year um a one year experience and sometimes it's hard and i can't stress enough when i tell you that if you're gonna go to school and you're trying to find a job right away game try to get some internship because at least this can you know they can see that okay at least this person has some experience but if you just have a degree with no experience it's gonna bite you in the butt hey I had problems too, but I learned how to position myself. I'm still having problems. I'm not going to come on camera and act like I'm not having problems. I'm still having problems and I will cover that in a, another um, video. All right. Also, um, this person asks, will I eventually become my own boss? Yes. With a CI, with a computer information system degree? Yes. Because they teach you business management, how to establish a business, you know, whether you want to go sole proprietorship, you want to go as S corp, or you want to go as a corporation, you know, tax information It's just so much thing you learn with computer information system. You can't go wrong. But to get a job, it's possible. Now, with a, with a bachelor's degree, you're speaking volume right there. Without a doubt, the job is there. It's just what you like and the, 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 um, and the experience. So that's what's hurting me. Um, so I'm approaching right now graduation in a couple of months. Glory be to God. And I'm just asking God to help me finish this. 
Um, after this month, I have two more courses to go. Two more course, two more class, two more course. It doesn't really matter. Hear me blanking out. Um, but yeah, and that's it for me. Um, if you are brand new to this channel here, I'm currently pursuing my bachelor's degree in information technology management. So the experience is what's killing me. So here am I telling you, you got to nail it internship experience okay but you have to be careful with some of these companies that is promising that you know you'll be able to do IT stuff and when you check you're doing other tasks that is out of the alignment of IT du duties just be careful with that be careful I promise to talk to you about that one of these days um one more thing different jobs you can get yes it's very broad cis is a very broad field you just have to figure out what you like and i can't stress it enough these are like keywords i'm saying to you try to get as much experience because this is how you're gonna know if ticket support is for you if um uh what do you call it active directory networking programming you know um database system sql you would never know graphic design um back end designing you never know you know so it's always good to try to seek network with people because that's the thing you got to open your mouth you have to talk to people you know you have to let them know where you are anybody that works in a hospital in a school system college high school places where you know there's a lot of computers or they have a service system these are the places that you want to position yourself especially for internship because chances are they will hire you all right so i want to leave you on that note i hope this information that i'm sharing with you were helpful let me know what you got from this let me know if i answer your question anything else that you want to talk about or any other question that you have go ahead drop it in a comment below i will answer those just bear with me a little bit your girl got a lot going on bear with me a little bit but i promise to address them all right i just want to encourage you just have hope and don't matter the situation you're going through just always remember that jesus loves you and let me tell you something also sometime in life you're going through things and you never know why you're going through it don't beat up yourself don't be depressed about it have hope you never know sometimes god puts you through testing to build your faith and so moving forward anything that comes to you you know how to approach it and you know how to handle it you know what i'm saying so i'm leaving you with that all right thank you all for watching love you guys bye